the dyno test the little car. Uh, this is the before, and we'll find out what the horsepower rating is before, and then we'll see what the horsepower rating after is. And uh, yeah, this is how it works, I guess. They test it all out and get it to run. And then you got a little screen over there, and we'll see what we got. 74 horsepower from 168 to 174 horsepower with graphene added. Wow. And this is an automatic transmission, 147,000 miles. Wow. First, I'd like to thank High Velocity Motorsports. They did the dyno testing and were very enthusiastic about setting everything up. And they gave us all our data. And here it is. Um, the first two, run one, two at the bottom here, uh, are the two runs without graphene. The car by itself, 168 and 169.26. Then, the rest of these runs, 3, 4, 5, and 6, were all with graphene in it. Number 4, we had a little slippage on the dyno, not a big deal. Still got 172 from the top end of 169.26. Uh, to give you an idea of the definitive numbers here, here's the separation. is the uh, max power of 174.86, so almost 175, to 168 and max torque of 186 to 181 pretty much is really really showing uh, that adding the graphene into the engine by a certain ratio be very specific and scientific will increase the horsepower in the motor and then that probably is why I've been getting such fuel gains because I did test it in my uh, other car uh, I got from 15 point four miles per gallon according to the computer driving to and from the university to now 20.3 miles per gallon which is pretty good uh, the that's a city and normally the car says 18 and 27 18 miles in the city and 27 miles per gallon in on the road I was getting 24.5 miles per gallon on the uh, highway and now I almost get, it's like 29.9 miles per gallon on the highway now. So better than new results in my other car. And this may be very surprisingly good news and good results for a 1999 BMW 328i automatic transmission. And it's brand new at the block, at the crank. And if you, you guys are gearheads, you'll know that you're getting a lot more. Uh, it's supposed to be 190 horsepower. So, even the 168 was a little, a little startling. We we thought we were all put little one dollar gentleman bets, and I was the one who picked the highest at 150. One guy said 131. One guy said 142. He was like, "Yeah, automatic transmission going through. Yeah, maybe 142." Because uh, I was wrong. It doesn't have 147. It has 164,000 miles on it. I. Don't know where I got the 147,000 miles, but um, pretty neat, you know. Uh, or maybe that's what I bought it with. Boom. Oh, well. But that's the results. Uh, very, very neat, compelling data. Thank you. Have a good day.